All right, so are you ready for this? A new Harry Potter TV series. HBO's developing it. Wow, yeah. I know what you're thinking. We've already seen the movies. Right. But this, this is something different. This deep dive, we're going beyond the headlines. What's really special about this series and, well, what can we as fans actually look forward to? Mm. I mean, it's Harry Potter. Yeah, and one thing that's really interesting to me is, well, think about the movies. Two hours to cram in a whole book. Imagine what they could do with a whole TV series. Mm -hmm. I mean, Channing Dungy over at Warner Bros. Television, she's been talking about all these little details, the nuances. You right. know, they could never fit it all in the films, but now. Yeah, it's like those extended editions with the extra scenes. Yeah. But this is like the whole thing's extended. Imagine like a whole season for each book. Seven seasons. What could they show us with that kind of time? Oh, man. Think about it. The world building, the characters, all those little side stories they had to cut for the movies. This is a chance to really get immersed in the world of Harry Potter like never before. Exactly. Hmm. And speaking of immersion, the casting hmm. calls, they're open right now. UK and Ireland, they're looking for the next Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Global search, too. Could be anyone. Imagine that. A whole new generation of actors bringing these iconic characters to life. It's pretty exciting. And it's not just the actors, either. Oh, right. Behind the scenes, the team. Yeah. Got to have a good team. And they've got Francesco Gardner, the writer, you know. Okay. And Mark Mylod directing. Wait a minute. Those names sound familiar? They should. Emmys. Both of them. For Succession on HBO. Oh, wow. Succession. That's, that's some serious talent right there. Yeah, no kidding. HBO's not messing around with this. You know, Succession, amazing writing. The character is so complex. And that production quality, top notch. What's that going to look like applied to the world of Harry Potter? It's going to be good. I think we can expect something, you know, a bit more mature, nuanced take on the story. Something for both the hardcore fans who've read the books a million times. Yeah. And also people who are just coming to the story for the first time. I like that. Yeah. Something for everyone. Although, you know, we can't talk about this new series without mentioning the... Uh, the elephant in the room. Yeah. The controversy with J.K. Rowling. Mm -hmm. Her views, they've been, well, let's just say they've sparked some debate. Yeah, definitely. How's this series going to handle that? It's interesting, though, the casting call. Open to children of all ethnicities for the lead roles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be a sign of how they're approaching things, maybe. Potentially, yeah. Yeah. Will they address it directly, offer a different perspective? It's definitely a big question mark. Yeah, a lot of people are wondering about that. How will they handle it? It's going to be fascinating to see how it all plays out. Absolutely. Oh. A lot to think about. Oh, for sure. And speaking of things playing out in an interesting way. Oh, you're going to bring up Ted Lasso now, aren't you? Well, yeah. It's Warner Bros. too, right? Season three felt like the end, but now. I know, I know. Whispers of a season four. I thought we said goodbye to those characters. But a glimmer of hope. It's exciting. And the word is it's coming from Jason Sudeikis and the team themselves. Oh, really? They want to do it. It's not just, you know, a cash grab. They've got more story to tell. I love that. It makes it so much more meaningful. They're not just doing it because they can, mm. but because they have more to say. Exactly. It feels like they're coming at it with the same heart, that same humor that made the first three seasons so special. And that's what we love about Ted Lasso, right? Mm -hmm. The feels. Oh, yeah. The feels. Makes you think, though, if they do make a season four... Where could they possibly take the story? You know, that's the thing with Ted Lasso. It's always been about growth, right? Mm -hmm. We've seen them face these huge challenges, personal stuff, obstacles, and they've come out on the other side, learned something along the way. I think season four could really dig into that. Yeah. What comes next for these characters, you know? You know, it's funny you should say that because that's one of the things I loved about Harry Potter. We literally watched them grow up. Mm -hmm. Right there on the page, on the screen. Oh, yeah. In this new HBO series. Imagine if they really lean into that. Oh, absolutely. Imagine seeing Harry, Ron, and Hermione dealing with all that teenage stuff, figuring themselves out. And then on top of that, the darker side of the wizarding world. It's heavy stuff. It is, yeah. But we could see their weaknesses, their doubts, but also how they bounce back. Oh, man. Just thinking about those scenes at Hogwarts. Right. But the movies did a pretty good job with the visuals. Yeah. But a full TV series budget. Endless possibilities. More of the castle, little hidden corners, all the magic really brought to life. Quidditch matches that'll blow your mind. The crowds in Hogsmeade. Even the creepy stuff in the Forbidden Forest. See, now you're speaking my language. I'm a visual person, and I can already see it all. 
But beyond all that, the visuals, I mean, what kind of themes could they explore? I mean, really dig into. Well, something that's always stuck with me from the books, social issues, you know? Oh, yeah. Prejudice, discrimination, people abusing their power. It's all there, woven into this magical world. It's amazing, isn't it? how these fantastical stories can reflect our own world. Yeah, and with the TV series, they've got the time to really dive into those issues, mm. explore the nuances. Exactly. The characters could be facing these huge moral dilemmas, confronting their own biases, and learning, hopefully, you know, to be more understanding. Right. It could really get people thinking, talking about these important issues. It's powerful stuff. <laughs> Speaking of powerful, what about the Marauders? Their story's so crucial to Harry's journey, but we only got glimpses in the movies. I hope they go deep on that. The Marauders, man, what a story. Friendship, loyalty, betrayal, loss. It's all there. Intense. <laughs> Imagine seeing all that play out on screen. It would add a whole other level to the series. It would. And you know what? There are so many other characters who deserve more attention. Oh, yeah, for sure. Luna Lovegood. Love her. So wise in her own way. Neville Longbottom becoming this brave hero. So glow up. And the Weasleys, all that love and support no matter what. Best family ever. They're all part of this huge tapestry, you know? All these personalities, stories, just waiting to be told. And a TV series is the perfect way to do it. Give those stories the space they need to breathe. Yeah, it could create something truly special, an experience that really pulls you in, makes you feel it all. Okay, before we go full Hogwarts on this, mm -hmm. let's bring it back to Ted Lasso. Season four, if it happens, what are you hoping to see? Hmm, good question. I'd love to see how they keep growing, you know, both in their own lives and their work. Yeah. Ted Lasso's always been about connection. Yeah. So seeing those relationships deepen, evolve, that'd be great. I'm with you on that. And I got to say, I'm really invested in Roy Kent's story. He's come such a long way. Oh, yeah. I remember season one? Yeah. Gruff, angry footballer. Yeah. Now, he's letting himself be vulnerable. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. And his relationship with Keeley. What's next for them? So I'm yeah. curious to see where that goes. You know, Roy Kent, he's been one of the best parts of the show. Embracing his emotions, connecting with people, finding joy. Who knew? Right. You never know what's hiding under that tough exterior. Sometimes it's a heart of gold. And speaking of heartwarming moments, I'm hoping for more of those classic Ted Lasso moments. The kindness, the humor, that unexpected wisdom. Oh, yeah. It's those little moments, you know. That make Ted Lasso, well, Ted Lasso. It's like the world's going crazy. And then you watch an episode and it's just a big warm hug. Yeah. Reminds you there's still good in the world, even when things are tough. It's funny, isn't it? Harry Potter, Ted Lasso, they're so different. Totally. But in a way, they both offer this this escape. Yeah. And they both tap into something, something about being human, you know? Mm -hmm. Hogwarts, a football team, doesn't matter. It's about finding your people, finding where you belong. It's true. They let you step into these worlds where anything can happen. Good always wins. And even the small things, they matter. And sometimes that's all you need, that little bit of hope, that reminder that there's still magic out there. I think that's why people connect with these stories so much. It's more than just escapism. It's about belonging, about remembering what makes us human and having that little spark of hope for the future. Yeah, it's like they give you permission to believe in something bigger than yourself, whether it's magic or just being kind to each other. Yeah, and that belief. Especially now, when things feel so uncertain, it can make a real difference. So as we wait for these new projects to come out, I think it's worth thinking about, you know, what do they mean to us as fans? What are we hoping for? What kind of impact do we want them to have? That's a great question. For me, I'm excited to see how these stories change and grow, maybe challenge the way we see things, and, you know, inspire us to be better. I love that. Yeah. And I'll leave you with this. Whether you're rereading the books or watching the movies again or just daydreaming about what's to come, ask yourself, what do you want to see in these new chapters? In the Harry Potter world, in the Ted Lasso world, what stories are you hoping for? What kind of magic are you looking for? Because ultimately, that's the beauty of these stories. They make you use your imagination. They get you excited. And as we go on this journey together, I think it's important to remember the most powerful magic. It's inside all of us. What a great way to wrap things up. Until next time, keep exploring, keep believing, and keep the magic alive.